If uh, you're a MMA fan, you woke up, was it was it Sunday? You woke up on Sunday morning, and you woke up to some of the worst news you've probably seen for a while now, in that the main event for UFC 249, which is Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson for the lightweight strap, a fight that's now been booked five times, is in even more trouble, and it there's almost zero chance that this thing is actually gone down on April 18th in an unknown location. So the news we woke up to is on Sunday in the morning is that Khabib said that he is now stuck in Russia now that the country is on lockdown. He recently flew back to Russia. He was training in the U.S. Um, in a local gym in San Jose, California. He was in the U.S. Uh, about 10 days ago. Then he flew to uh, the United Arab Emirates after Dana said that the fight wasn't going to be in the U.S., and it was there's a 99 uh, percent chance that it was going to take place in the UAE. He then flew back to Russia after the UAE said they were un- they were likely going to restrict travel to UAE residents only. The location of UFC 249 is still unconfirmed, but it was a lot a lot of people were speculating either the United Arab Emirates or Russia, mostly most likely there in the Middle East. Location still unconfirmed by Dana White. A uh, big point that. Um, that people have been taking note of is that Habib Nurmagomedov is a devout Muslim and he practices Ramadan every year. And that's when, um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but that's when you fast um, between dawn and sunset if you're Muslim. And so obviously that's going to make training really hard and put a damper on the performance that you could actually have. And so Habib doesn't fight during this time, um, during the time between April 23rd and May 23rd. At least that's when it starts and ends in the United States. So UFC is now looking for a replacement fighter to face Tony Ferguson. The most likely candidate is Justin Gaethje. Um, His most recent fight, we all remember, was against Donald Cowboy Cerrone at UFC Fight Night Vancouver. But it wasn't just Justin Gaethje. Gaethje was the one being appointed by Dana White. But a guy that really tried to put his hat uh, or his name into the hat was top contender Dustin Poirier, which, of course, his most recent fight was against Habib Nurmagomedov back in September at UFC 242. So, Blake, with all that being said, my question for you is, is it even worth to the UFC or to Tony Ferguson uh, to book a new opponent for him if Habib isn't available or should we just postpone the fight again and try to book it for a sixth time? Well, I think it's um I think it's unlikely that this this whole card even goes down on April nineteenth. At this point, why? That's that's the question I keep asking. That's Unless, my later question. Is, is, so if we we go that too, is UFC two forty nine? Is there even a point to 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 having that card now at this at this point in time? I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna lay out a I'm gonna lay out some scenarios. Cool. So my my biggest deal is like it's it's. It's pretty much April, right? Tomorrow's April 1st, Mm -hmm. so there's like 19 days until fight day. Tony and his opponent would get that many days to train for each other and prepare, which is like, you know, it's not out of out of the question that that could happen. But still, I think it's it's a little ridiculous. And I even think I remember Dustin Poirier on uh, Instagram live today. Uh, The very little bit I got to catch. I think it was him and Ariel Helwani. Mm -hmm. He was saying that he would he would no doubt like that fight but he would just like to prepare and i totally agree with him i think that if you're not going to make this habib fight like there's no way that them that habib versus tony goes down on april is it 18th or 19th 18th april 18th there's, there's no way that it goes down on the 18th there's zero percent chance okay so let's move on we have a few options now we have gaichi we have poirier and i think another name that should be thrown in the mix too conor mcgregor why would that not make sense conor mcgregor wants to fight uh, Habib, right? He wants to get that rematch. He wants to go for the lightweight title again. You know, this is perfect if you guys are able to listen into our discussion show from last week. Blake, uh, this was probably, you said that this was your dream matchup right now. This is my dream matchup. I'm foaming at the mouth. And you know, what's interesting enough is I saw Coach Kavanaugh actually reply to a post. I think that, uh, I can't remember who made the post, but it was, he was replying to uh, speculation of Tony looking for a new opponent. And he mm-hmm. said, why not another person? Because every all the names that were being thrown in were like Justin and Dustin. Mm-hmm. Before so you get like, to this, uh, just for the viewers I don't know, Coach Kavanaugh is who? Coach Kavanaugh is uh, McGregor's coach, Thank his you. head coach, if you guys didn't know. 
so I think that there's there's a few different options they could go. I just think April 18th in general is just a kind of kind of a whack thing to go through. Like, right. I, I don't think anything is going to be different with the quarantine anywhere. I don't think it's responsible on anyone's part to have to host those fights when the whole country is still going to be on lockdown. Basically, like I think they're now they're trying to extend it till June through uh, through June in some, June 30th, in some uh, I, I do believe. Right. In some states. So I think the Fed government, at least in the United States, so some states are postponing it to, uh, to pushing the date quarantine date to June 30th. The federal government had just posted pushed it back to around April 30th, I believe. So now why don't we just scrap this whole thing, scrap this mm-hmm. whole event? I know it sucks. And the UFC does not want to eat money. They're a business. They're losing money by not having events. They're losing money by not. And I just want to let you guys know, Blake, I'm tickets. sorry to keep cutting you off like this, but for a guy like you, Blake, to say that we should just postpone this card, that's uh, that's kind of a big deal. Of knowing how man, how much you're looking forward to not only this card but just UFC in general. Exactly. I mean, if and I'm saying because if it doesn't happen on April 18th, that fight's not going to happen. Habib is a devout Muslim. He's not going to change his, you know, religion yeah. and, and his culture at the blink of an eye just so he can fight some dude. Uh, I think an, another good option probably sounds far fetched. Why not just do like an all star card? Why not just get the craziest sounding of fights? Like get the Usman versus Mosvidal fight. Get the, uh, you know. Get uh, Leon Edwards and Tyron Woodley fighting on that same card, so there's some so there's some drama behind the scenes too, right? Get uh, get Cejudo and Aldo. Get just get all those guys that 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 we had locked and loaded and we're looking forward to get get Francis and Ganu versus Rosenstreich, right? Get all these guys, and then give Tony a, a Conor McGregor. Give give him someone that's going to get everybody excited. Something that's going to kick the. It's going to be kind of like a reset, right, for the UFC mm-hmm. this year. I just think that there's so many different ways they can go, and I don't think they should rush this this decision by any means. Like, if Habib versus Tony isn't going to happen, that is the fight that every hardcore MMA fan and and even a bunch of the casuals too, I think, that right. are in the know, that is the fight that everybody was looking forward to. Everybody, I mean, that's needed to be settled. It's been booked five times now, and it is just mind blowing to me that it it can't go through. I mean. It seemed like God Himself came in and said, "Nah, this ain't happening." Man, why isn't this fight? Why is it so cursed? It's crazy, man. It's it's divine intervention is the only only thing that explains it. I really wish we could see these guys throw down, but the main point I'm trying to say is, if they can't, don't rush this the, the decision. Let's just mm-hmm. get the right guy in there, the entertaining fight that the fans that that not only the fans are going to enjoy, but also makes sense for the division. Mm-hmm. See, I like that. I think I'm kind of going off of your sentiment is that we've already waited almost like five years for this fight now. What's another four or five months going to do? I think it is in everyone's best interest. It's in Ferguson's best interest. It's in the UFC's best interest. Just it's in. It's hard to say that's in the fire's best interest because if these guys don't fight, they don't get paid. Right. So that's why a lot of these guys are so willing to fight because it's not like any other sport. Like NFL players, they're still getting paid. MLB players, they're still getting paid. You have NHL players, they're still getting paid. UFC fighters, they're not getting paid right now. And so that's why a lot of them are still very, um, willing to risk their health and safety to fight because they need that paycheck. But ultimately, I think as a whole... It, it might just be best to push it back. Do something. UFC is one of the very few sports that doesn't have an off season. You know, right? They 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 almost there's fighting like what fifty weeks of the year, something ridiculous like that. They try to have it. They try to have at least I would I would say like two events per month, at least. Most of it's like three to four uh, events a month between the fight nights, and the uh, and the main event or and the uh, pay per views every month. But I, I like your point. Take almost like take a break. Give us like an off season, a few months. Let everyone re- rest, recover. Try to let's keep everyone inside. Social distancing, to everyone. Uh, the the more all you guys stay home, the quicker we'll be done. And then once we're out of that proverbial off season, let's book that all star card. Let's put all the fights that everyone is dying to see on that card and give the fans and the fighters one hell of a night to kind of celebrate 
UFC being back. Because if you think about it, that shouldn't throw a, a wrench into any of their plans. These are all fights they already had locked mm-hmm. and loaded, ready to go. Yeah. These are all fights that have been scrapped. So just take like the main events from all these cards that are getting scrapped Quick. and put it in the main card, right? For the, for the all-star you, card. And let's say you could book that after months of being off. Everyone's going wide side card, especially when UFC puts together the greatest card of all time. I'm the, telling you, if you can somehow get a Conor McGregor on that return card, don't know how you make it happen, but if you could make it happen, two, it's gonna it's gonna be through the roof. Two, three million pay per view sales. I'd I'd say an easy two, dude. I might. Especially against someone as crazy, if it is Tony Ferguson or if it was Justin or Dustin, it doesn't matter. Any three of those guys, Conor McGregor can sell that fight. Conor McGregor could sell a fight against Dustpan, and so he and he could sell <laughs> he could sell a fight against Dustpan. He could sell a fight against the old man I in the bar. Blink. He could he could sell a fight against a fan in and his cell phone in Miami. He could sell a fight against Justin or Dustin. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but man, with that, I was gonna say, you know, Usman versus Mazadal is so as of right now, that fight is most likely off. It has not been officially taken off the card, and the card is still technically set to go on April 18th at the undisclosed location in front of a closed audience. And so, just going off of this, supposedly still going on. Usman versus Mazdal for the welterweight title is reportedly being booked for UFC 249. Nothing confirmed yet. And we still have Tyron Woodley and Colby Tuttington offering to fight to help save the card. So, as of right now, we, we've, we've said, uh, Blake especially has said that we should just postpone the card as a whole, push off to a better date, not sacrifice everyone's safety. Uh, the UFC is probably going to be able to make it out of this all right. Let's hope so, at least. They got that big, mon- big money ESPN deal, so hopefully that helps. But it's probably not worth having the car at this point, is it? Even with all this stuff. I don't think so. I think it's a little too... It's just a little too risky for everyone's health. I just think mm-hmm. if like, if citizens are being told to stay at home, you're going to have just like another empty stadium card? Like, mm-hmm. what's, the, what's the plan here? And don't get me wrong, I want to see people punching each other. So don't think it... I'm being some softy. I just want everyone to be healthy and safe, and I want the fights to make sense. I don't want anyone to be rushed and forced into a decision that they don't, you know, necessarily need to make. You know, let, let's because uh, let's take the time to have both fighters fully prepare for a fight. That rush fight might not be as good as a fight as we can actually get from them. It might not reach its full potential. So it'd be better just to lay off, have all of them have full camps, and put on an even um, better show than it would be.